cooler, man, I hang with shooters Yo, MC and me got that ice, but man, my neck is cooler And he swear he got them bands, that nigga a loser what is good, YouTube? This is your boy. Yes, sir. Your boy Dino. Come back to another video, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know today. If you haven't, make sure you hit the like button on the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you want more content out. Now, you feel me? I'm about to be showing y'all. I'm going to give y'all a tutorial on how to get contact dunks almost every play in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, mind you, majority of everybody's build in this game can get contact dunks because that's what everybody is upgrading in this game. I had a couple clips. I couldn't find the clips. I couldn't get them in the video. But I'm gonna be showing you what badges you need. If you have enough badges, if you don't have enough badges, um, what part of the control you need to be hitting in order for you to be getting your content dunks on the regular? And what type of position do people be? Now I'm gonna be showing y'all this gameplay here because I get uh, quite a few content dunks. I get enough to the point where my defenders just started sagging off and I had to shoot the ball. I was trying to get as much content dunks as possible in this game. But these boys just started playing like sit and paint on me and I couldn't just go in there head first you know what I'm saying now I do only have eight badges I only got two badges two Hall of Fame badges on this guy and I'm gonna be uh, showing y'all and explaining a couple things in the video later on man the content dunks this here happens so often it feel like I'm playing NBA 2k15 at River City before the patch if you do not know about them days man man listen anybody in River City back in the day in NBA 2k15 before they dropped a specific patch for the ass they was dunking and slamming everything they was going baseline dunking on it. all five people in the wreck they was catching every lob my nigga they was getting hella content dunks River City patch one in NBA 2k15 was a problem this kind of remind me of that right now I'm gonna be also showing y'all the best dunk packages also later in this video so if you do not want to watch the gameplay you can skip ahead you feel me but i actually like this game this game is actually very fun in my opinion but it's just no it's just like i don't know they just got to separate the competition in my opinion but there's a lot of contact dunks. i feel like and the reason why there's a lot of contact dunks this year is because people are not upgrading their interior defense like you're still gonna get dunked on it even if you have high interior defense but the thing is it's like People are complaining about getting dunked on and you have a 25 interior defense. Like, I don't understand how you like six foot five, six foot six build. And there's people out here with a 90 dribble, um, a 90 driving dunk, 95 driving dunk, and you have a 25 interior defense with no rim protector. And these guys that got Hall of Fame posterizer with a 95 driving dunk, you expect not to get dunked on. And plus, you like six foot five. I don't understand why people complain about that. Um, I do think interior defense do make a difference, but at the same time, they do need to tone down the lobs and they need to tone down the dunk animations because I ran into a couple people that spam lobs and they just get hella contact dunk alley. Oops, my nigga, it's just so different this year. They need to tone it down because it's, it's outrageous. Like, people really dunk on you every play all game long. And it's crazy because, like, you'll be playing great defense the entire possession and then they just get, like, some crazy ass dunk animation that just like switches the entire flow of the game up. You feel me? They really gotta fix that shit. Actually, it's annoying. I be losing the little Timmys and little and, and, and thirteen year olds and fourteen year olds, and I don't need to be losing to y'all little niggas, man. I don't need to be losing to y'all. You feel me? I am one of the greatest. I am one of the goats, in my opinion, man. So I, I do not like losing that way. So they do need to tone that down because you lose the people you never supposed to lose to or you wouldn't uh, normally lose to. And that's a problem for me, man, because it really is easy to do. Now, if you don't see how the defender was under the basket, check again. There's really no help defense this year because they're going to get dunked on nine times out of ten. If they're anywhere under the basket or rotating over, just go up with it because I'm telling you, you're going to get a contact dunk nine times out of ten. You feel me? I'm trying to force it up to uh, give you all more gameplay. But, yeah, if you see the help defender, don't be afraid. It's not like NBA 2K20 or NBA 2K21 current gen or anything like that. You will dunk on the ass this time. Just go up with it, and I guarantee you will see uh, what I'm talking about. If you plan on ISOing this year in NBA 2K21 Next Gen, I advise you to get Slash and Takeover because I'm going to explain to you why you need Slash and Takeover here. You do not need Sharp Takeover. Once you get Sharp Takeover, they're going to be playing high defense on you, and you might not be able to get that contact dunk animation like I'm getting in this, vi uh, this video right here. When you get Slash and Takeover, they tend to sit paint on you, and you're open for the three almost every single play because they're rather to have you shoot the ball than get a, uh, a contact dunk in the paint but the thing is di the difference this uh this year it's like you have a 93 ball 92 3 95 3 ball all these builds got a very high three-pointer on top of that they got a lot of shooting badges so i would not be afraid to go with slash and take over first because that forces people to kind of like sit off of you and play the paint when you could really shoot the ball they say you really don't need like 
no uh, sharp takeover because sharp takeover, like I said, they're going to play up really high on you and then they might get a stop because you don't get a contact dunk in the paint because you chose the wrong takeover. I would advise you. I think the most efficient one is this. I think the more fun one, well, this one's also fun too, like this takeover, but I think this one's way more efficient of a takeover than it is uh, with the sharp one. I advise you to go with that, you feel me? Because as you can see, I can still shoot and I, and I score almost everything, you feel me? I get a lot of contact dunks. I make a lot of contact layups. I just made a layup on two people, but you do get blocked sometimes. That's what the game do, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's very overpowered. All right, what's good, y'all? I'm about to be showing y'all my attributes. The uh, the attributes, so y'all can see the physicals and the and, and the dunk. Um, uh, what's it called? The attributes, man. So as you can see, I got a 92 driving dunk, 90 speed, 88 acceleration, and I also have a 70 vert. I do get every dunk in the game. I get every contact dunk. I get every dunk available uh, at my size. But yeah, I get all that. So as you can see with the badges here, I got Heart Seeker on uh, Hall of Fame because you boost your takeover and you need posterized Hall of Fame. If you do have extra slots as far as like 12 finishing, I will go with Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. And those are the only three badges I really think that you need at finishing this year. Now, I'm about to be going into my dunk animations. If you do want to copy these, make sure you pause the video and get every single one of them that I have. I get pretty much the same dunk animations every year. Russell Westbrook dunk animation, I do use pretty much every year. I do not have a, a, a driving, leg, uh, driving layup right now because I think I just recently upgraded. But yeah, just copy all these dunks. You want to get the front clutches. You do not want to get blocked on these type of dunks. So when you get these animations, you want to get the most efficient animations possible. And these animations do give you a lot of contact dunks at the same time. So don't get it twisted and think you're not going to get no contact dunks. The only dunk I have on here that's flashy is the Athletic 360, but I just like doing that because it's, it's fun to look at, you know what I'm saying? But everything else is just straight to business, straight to buckets, you know what I'm saying? But this video will help you Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you show support to you, boy. I really appreciate everybody that's on the channel, man. We're trying to get hit 100K subscribers soon. We are currently at 54,000 subscribers. If you have any questions in, you know what I'm saying, any questions or anything like that as far as build, SIGs, jump shot, all that, I have everything you need to know in my previous videos. Make sure you go check that out. And with nothing else to talk about, your boy Dino is out. Lucas. It's funny how now she be calling me back She see that I got it, I'm stuck in the trap 40 autos and we put it right back 40 autos and he left in the back I can't be trusting cause people just act I get the money, I run it right back The plug on my phone, I get to these racks the